All right, so we have completed the first verification, which was the uh, hidden ball marker, the LUTs test verification, and we're ready to move on to our second one. So, Dr. Hancock, why don't you let us know what that would be? Okay, we uh, will remove the hidden ball LUTs test insert, and now let's do um, an ionization chamber measurement okay. uh, using this dosimetry insert for ion chamber, and we want to replace this plug with the uh, ion chamber locking sleeve. And then we'll assemble the two halves of the phantom. Now this particular dosimetry sim uh, insert that you have is uh, uh, specifically drilled for the x ray and A16 chamber. That's correct. And uh, I know that you can get the uh, insert for, I believe, most of the micro chambers on the market. That's my understanding. Okay, once again, we will set this up on the brain lab head frame table mount. And then, once again, just as with the uh, Winston Lutz test, we use the head frame localizer mm -hmm. to line up the Phantom for treatment. Once it's aligned to your satisfaction, remove the localizer and insert the ion chamber. It's drilled to put the uh, thimble of the ion chamber in the center, exact center of the phantom finger tighten this locking sleeve so it can't slip out okay. and then it's ready to deliver the planned treatment and you can verify the accuracy of the dosimet uh, of the radiation dose at the center of your target volume. Okay, so we have done an absolute point dose measurement at ISO Center um, using the A16 chamber. And so the next step would be doing a distribution check. That's right. So we want to take out the ion chamber insert and sleeve and uh, use the treatment verification film cassette. This cassette is designed for three inch square films and it has fiducial alignment pins that prick the film uh, and you can use that for film registration in your film analysis software. I have a film that's been previously exposed and developed. You can see the, uh, the shape of the target. Mm -hmm. And if this were a EDR2 film, this is EDR2 film, you would want to do this in the dark room. Uh, Gaff chromic film, you can do it in visible light. So, this just is a press fit, drops right into this space here. Once again, we assemble the two halves of the Lucy Phantom. While we're doing that, I'll mention that uh, Standard Imaging does offer a uh, film dosimetry software package called Ray uh, that you could use for uh, doing the analysis of uh, the films that are exposed uh, in the Lucy Phantom. So we don't want any uh, voids in the surface to uh, perturb the dose distribution in, on the film, so we want to plug all the holes.
including all the little holes that are plugged by these beveled plugs. Okay, now we want to set this up for treatment. I'm going to mount this using the Brain Lab head mount. Put on the localization box with the templates that are produced by the trick planning system that have isocenter marks that we align to our lasers. Okay. So once that is aligned to your satisfaction, then we take that off and it's ready to perform the planned treatment. Now I also know that you can actually do the film verification in different planes also, correct? That's right. So. Uh, you would want to do the, the you, you could mount the Phantom in any of three planes, the, the transverse plane, the sagittal plane, and the coronal plane, uh, and you would want to plan ahead uh, when you do your CT scan uh, with your uh, target volume oriented appropriately as well. Excellent.